Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on here. What do you want to say to us? Uh, this is Christian Prince. Yes, it's me. Uh, uh, I just want to... Oh, sorry. My name is Risky. Okay, Risky. How I can help you, my friend. You are a Muslim, right? My name is Risky. Uh, I'm from Indonesia. I am Sunni Muslim. Okay. So what would, would you like to share with us? Go ahead. Uh, you said before about Muslim killing people and then rape a woman or kill a woman. But it's also mentioned in the Bible, I think. Hmm. In the book of... Wait, I search for you. In the book of Number. Hmm. 31 hmm. verse 8 hmm. verse 17 hmm. so the both books mention the same thing hmm. okay. so what's your problem with uh, Quran mentioned about killing people and but your Bible also mentioned killing all the men and all the women hmm. in the well, book of Numbers 13 okay let me answer you so, you know, the Bible is, uh, everybody knows, uh, even if you go in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 178, you will see that Muhammad trying to copy the law of Moses, which is the law of Moses, eye for an eye, correct? Chapter 2, verse? Two, chapter 2, verse 178. So, the Moses, he practiced eye for an eye, which means the same way you attack us, the same way we attack you, the same way you kill us, the same way we kill you, the same way you take us as a slave, the same way we take you as a slave. So the Jews, they've been killed, they've been tortured, they've been enslaved, they've been raped. And uh, 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 Moses, he practiced eye for an eye. You kill us, you kill our women, you kill our children, we will attack you, we will fight you back. Now Muhammad, he copied the same law. But Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he, he practiced wrong. Look what it says in the verse. It says, oh, who you believe. In the case of retaliation, is prescribed for you in the matter of murder. The free man for the free man, the slave man for the slave man, the female for the female. So Moses, Moses, he told his followers, in the case of war, go and do etc. the same as they did to us. But they are not killing female for the female. This is in the case of murder. Muhammad, he is an idiot. He got it wrong. You see, it's a war. They attack us. When they attack us, they kill us. They take slaves. They take our women. They kill our children, etc. Even they take our animals. But here Muhammad is practicing, this is in the case of murder, which means even in a civilian cases, which means not in wartime. So you are an Indonesian man and you own a slave. And I am an Arab man and I own a slave. So both of us, we are Muslims and we are free. If I kill your slave, you kill my slave. But now we have to have two victims. So how in the world this can be from God? How if I kill your wife, you kill my wife, but my wife, she is... She is, she is not the criminal who killed your wife. You know what I mean? If I kill your wife, and, you, and then you go and kill my wife, but my wife is not the one who killed your wife. So why do you want to kill my wife? This is the law of Muhammad. But, but in the Bible also mentioned that eye for eye and teeth for teeth. I, yeah, but in the law of Moses, you don't do that. You don't go home and you kill the one who killed. You don't kill his wife. <laughs> You take the teeth of the guy who, who took your teeth, not the teeth of his wife. <laughs> this is what Muhammad doing. I take your teeth, you take the teeth of my slave. I take your, the teeth of your wife, you take the teeth of my wife. But I am the one who took the teeth of your wife. Why are you taking the tooth of my wife? That is so stupid. So you say this, that Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, uh, making things up. Yeah, he, he, you know, obviously he is a, he's, he's not a smart. He heard that this is the law of Moses, eye for an eye. And he said, okay, let us practice an eye for an eye. So male for the male, free for the free, slave for the slave, female for the female. So what happened now? If you are a free man, you kill a slave. The slave, you, the slave of the free man, we will kill him. So now we have two slaves get killed. And the one who killed the slaves is a free singing, going to the nightclub. And if a female, if I kill a female, you will kill my female. But this is stupid. You know? Because now we have two, we have two victims. So what kind of God? And, and later the Muslim they will say to you this verse is abrogated, correct? They say it's abrogated. No. Okay. Why Allah? Why Allah? He abrogate this verse. I mean, what kind of God? He make a law for the case of murder, and then he changed his mind. Obviously, he found that this is stupid. People no. just start laughing at him. Allah never abrogate his verse. Huh? Allah never abrogate his verse. 
I don't understand. So again, I will never regret anything. Well, this is the, the, the Muslim, they agree. All the Muslims agree that this verse is abrogated, my friend. All Muslims agree sure. that this verse, I, I don't need to show you. You can go and check. I mean, what you think I am, you're, you, you know, you are a Muslim, you are calling me, and you do not know that this verse is abrogated. Anyone, go go search in your language. Search chapter 2, verse 178. Is it abrogated? There will, you will see the answer, yes. Okay, wait there. Hmm. Open Google. <laughs> What tafsir you use? For use, this use, use anyone you want. It doesn't matter really. I don't care. So why Allah he abrogated it? I mean, th th does it make sense to you? Allah he made a law for murder, and how that can change? I mean, this is the law of God. That's it. Why he wanna change it after after after? But in the Bible also, the law is changed. No, 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 no. Uh, you, no, in the, the law doesn't change. You see, uh, the law of Moses still and now exists, never changed. That's number one. Number two, we are talking about the same prophet. In the same time, in the same year, in the same even sometime a few days after, he says something, and then he says something else. To the point, even the Arab they say this guy he says something in the morning, and at night he you know by afternoon he says something. In the second day he said the opposite. This is why the Quran says uh, that at, uh, uh, if we cause any verse to be forgotten or uh, or, or abrogated, we will make something similar or better. What kind of God would do that? So here we go. He made a verse about the case of murder. And this is a case of murder which should be the same for all mankind forever. And we are talking about a guy exists in the time of Muhammad. Not, not. Uh, I mean, Muhammad himself. This is during life of time. Muhammad, he was a prophet uh, almost for 20 years only. So how Allah changed his mind in, in a few years? If this is the best for the case of murder, that's the best of the case for the murder. So why he changed his solution so fast? Because simply Muhammad, he say things, stupid things, and then he find it is stupid. People start complaining. What do you mean, a female from a female? So I killed his wife, he killed my wife. What kind of law this law is? This is crazy. Well, the Bible also is, uh, the law is changed. For example, in the Old Testament, we cannot, we cannot eat pork, but in the New Testament, you said we can't, we can't no, eat no, pork. No, 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 there's, no. There's nothing changed. What the change is that people, they have, there is a reasoning, as an example. In the time of in time of Moses, there is there is reasoning. In the time in our time, there is different reason. So in the time of Moses, the the, the the pigs they are grown in the field, and the pigs they eat anything. They eat even dead any dead human. So war people there is there is a, there is a, a pirate in the street. There is a gang. There is war between the Roman and the Persian. And those those pigs they eat anything in the in the in the floor. And even in the time of of, of Christ, people before. They use the Roman. They used to crucify people and throw them in the in the, like in in the in, in like the garbage. It's called Jahannam. That place is called Jahannam. This is where Muhammad he got his Jahannam from. So uh, they throw their things there, and pigs they eat anything there, garbage, human flesh, anything. So for the protection of people, God he for, for you know, he ordered them not to eat from certain animals. But if those animals are not risk, God don't care really if you eat pigs or not. I mean, do you think God really care if you eat pig? He, cre he is the one who created the pig. <laughs> so that will not change anything for God. But this is, you see, the Old Testament, it says you cannot eat. No, it says you cannot eat, and I told you the reason. And Jesus make it clear. You see, Jesus, he says, as an example, in the Old Testament, it says that you don't break the Sabbath, right? In the Old Testament. Yeah. Okay, so you don't break the Sabbath, and it's an order not to break the Sabbath, but Jesus made it clear to the Jews that this is, was made for the benefit of the man. So Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So what the Jews, they start doing, they start making Sabbath more important than the man. So if anyone break the Sabbath, even if he is sick, even if somebody is hurting, even if something necessarily, they kill him because he broke the Sabbath. But this is not what God, he wanted them to do because God, he made the Sabbath to help the man, not the opposite. So the Jews, they have wrong practice of the Sabbath, but Sabbath does not change. It's still the same. 
And here, you know, you see, uh, as long God he gave uh, Moses the Sabbath, why the Muslim don't follow Sabbath? The Quran says, uh, Allah he made the Jews monkeys for breaking Sabbath. So why you Muslim don't follow yeah, Sabbath? And and can you explain to me? Can you explain to me what is the reason? I mean, we are going around talking about pigs and etc. And Jesus make it clear. It's not what go inside your mouth will make it dirty. It what come from your mouth, and this is very logical. So the Old Testament written for a reason, and those books written thousands of years before Muhammad is exist, and they exist for a reason for for a health issue, for protection of the man. Otherwise, God don't care really if you eat a, a, a donkey or you eat a horse or you eat a chicken. That will not affect God. Will affect you. So. Everything there is for the benefit of the man, including Sabbath. The Jews, they were greedy. They like to make money. So they never stop working. And their servant, they, they, they forced them to work seven days a week. So he forced the seven the Sabbath on them for the benefit of the man. So they stop doing this. Otherwise, God do not need anything from you. Do you think God, he needs Sabbath from me? What Sabbath? You know, uh, what, what is this? He do not need it. And Jesus made it clear. That Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Muhammad, he heard, he learned from the Christian, he learned from the Jews, but everything he learned obviously is wrong. He don't even know that the Trinity of the Christian. He think the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and Allah. <laughs> he do not know the eye for an eye, as he showed you. He think that eye for an eye, I kill your wife, you kill my wife. That is the most stupid okay. teaching ever. Okay, talking about Sabbath day, uh, I have a question about that. I have a Christian friends, mm. he pray on Sunday. He go to church on Sunday. Mm. He anything he anything he worship is on Sunday. Uh, but in the Bible said it's uh, Sabbath is Saturday. No Sabbath in the in the Bible is any day you designate to God. So Sabbath Sabbath simply is the, is a is a rest day. You take it to worship God to designate. So in the Bible you will see as an example the Passover. Saturday, yeah. No, no, no. Sabbath, Sabbath is Saturday, can be, and it can be any day is you designate to God. So any day. Now, let us say tomorrow is uh, Sunday. I can make my Sunday Sabbath. How? I designate this day for God. This is Sabbath. Let us say we have Passover, and Passover is going to be Monday. That is going to be Sabbath. Let us say I have Easter, and Easter is going to be a Saturday. That day is Sabbath. Any day is designated for God is Sabbath, my friend. And you can search that in Google, you will find this is what the Christian believe. And this is what the Jews believe, not only the Christians. So Sabbath is any holy day for God. We call it holy day because it is holy. It's not about taking a vacation. It's holy for God. So any day it is designated to be a day for God is Sabbath. So we Christians, not only Saturday is holy for us, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Thursday for God is always in our heart and we pray to him anytime every day for us is Sabbath any day you designate for God is Sabbath and any moment you decide for God you can pray to him as you wish that's why Jesus says you know when you pray go to your closet and and pray to your, to your father so not like the Muslims they have to go in a certain time which is very silly as if God is waiting in train station and he will not be there in the rest of the day so for us Sabbath is any time, any day we designate to God. This is why when, so when a Christ, my friend, I will, I will give you, I will give you, I will give you an example. When when a Christ was uh, uh, crucified, you know, it says there that they have to bury him because the second day is Sabbath. But it was not Saturday. But it says in the Bible Sabbath. But uh, Sabbath is not Saturday in the story. Sabbath is the day because they have holiday. They have an occasion, religious occasion for the Jews. And because it is, that is Sabbath for the Jews. So they have to take the Messiah to his tomb before the Sabbath start. But it was not Saturday. All right. So why Advent, Advent still pray on Saturday? Who? Advent Christian. Advent Christian. Well, it doesn't matter. I can pray on Saturday. I can pray on Saturday. I told you, you see, you are not listening. I told you, Jesus said it clearly. That Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. So any day we designate for God is Sabbath. The important is that you have a Sabbath in your life. So it can be Saturday, it can be any other day, and it still is Saturday. Nothing changed. Actually, who told you we don't pray on Saturday? We pray on Saturday. We pray on Sunday. We pray every day. 
That's not changing. No, in, in, Advent, in Advent Christian it's different. I don't care about it. Don't, don't, don't give me names. No, no, don't give me names. There's many Christians in the Sabbath as an order for they are greedy. They like to make money. They work to work seven, seven days a week. But that was not the purpose. Otherwise, God, you don't care if you pray to him on Saturday or you pray to him on Sunday or you pray to him in one day. It doesn't matter what day. Any day you designate for him is his Sabbath. And the Bible is full of stories like this. And the Jews themselves, they practice Sabbath as we say it. Any holiday is Sabbath, but you are not listening. So a Christian can pray, can he make his prayer in Sunday? For this is that day he decided to be his Sabbath. He can make it Saturday, that day is his Sabbath. He can make it Friday, for his day is Sabbath. So any day I decide this week to be my Sabbath is my Sabbath. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Yeah. So, uh, I have uh, another question about uh, Isaiah 42. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> Wait, eyes open. Isaiah 42. Hmm. There is a word killer there. Word, word what? Killer, killer. Killer, okay, what killer? Kedar, Kedar, Kedar. Kedar, you mean? Yeah, in, in Arab. Okay, what about it? All uh, mentioned in the hmm. Bible, Isaiah 42. He hmm. mentioned the word of Kedar, but Kedar is in Arab. Hmm. He will raise, uh, he will raise a prophet hmm. in Kedar. Hmm. So why do you believe that uh, it's mentioned about Jesus? It's talking about Jesus. Hmm. But Kedar is not in hmm. Israel, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, first, for, first, first of all, uh, can we find this Isaiah prophet in your Quran? Do you have his book in the Quran? No, there is no Isaiah. Okay, why this prophecy is not in the Quran from the book of Isaiah? Why, why Muhammad, he did not have it? Allah did not tell him that in Isaiah 42, there's a prophecy about you and he did not quote it. Why is that in the Quran? Because the Quran mentioned about we have to believe also in the Torah. No, so. no, 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 no. But you, but, but you don't have the Torah. Do you have the Torah? You don't. How you can believe in the Torah if you don't have it? You, you have it. So we, we read it also. No, but, but you say it's, it's about, no. About you, you, but you say it's corrupt. No, you don't have it. You don't say you don't have it because you don't agree with it. So either you agree with it or you don't agree. And this is hypocrisy, my friend. Secondly, if you read the verses, chapter forty-two. You will see that this person who is going to be a prophet first he's a prophet your prophet is not a prophet he's a false prophet he made tons of prophecies none of them come true number two it says that this person uh, god he gave his spirit on him but your your you muslim don't believe that god have a spirit he is not a spirit your god and allah is not a spirit so obviously here the nature of this allah god great spirit. no allah is not a spirit yeah but allah created a great spirit yeah but here it says that god he put his spirit on him so the God of the Christian, he have a spirit. In, in, in the first book of Genesis, it says it clearly that God's spirit was above, above the water. God is spirit. So our God is a spirit. Your God is not. So obviously here this God is not your God. So why you are saying Isaiah is about your prophet? Secondly, it says he will come to, to perform justice between mankind. Your prophet never performed justice. As an example, your prophet said that in judgment day, Allah will put all the sin. The Muslim, they commit even if it's high as mountains. In the top of the Christian, yeah. the Jews. Is that justice? No, it's not justice. Uh, uh, num uh, verse number two, it says, he will never raise his, his face and he will not scream in the street. Muhammad, he was a criminal. He not only he do that, he go in the street, he kill people. He And it says, and he will not even break a piece of wood. Does it say that? Your prophet, he cut... But why it says in Isaiah 42, it says in Kedar. No, no, it says, Kedar okay, so in... okay, so you're stuck with Kedar. We will go to Kedar now. <laughs> Just don't worry. So it says he will not even break a piece of wood. Did your prophet break necks? This person is so peaceful to the point he will not break a piece of wood. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously it's not about your prophet. Secondly, Kedar, you can search now in Google and you will find Kedar is not Saudi Arabia. You know, the, no, it's not. It's not. You see, it's first a word, a word Arab, my friend, is a Kedar is an Arab, Medina. <laughs> first of all, your prophet is not from Medina, your prophet is from Mecca. Secondly, Medina is a city of the Jews, and Muhammad is not a Jew. He took their city, he's, he occupied, he's not coming from there. Number three, this is Kedar, is not in Medina, have nothing to do with Medina. 
Number four, all the prophecies there have nothing to do with him, as you see. Right? So, uh, uh, you Muslims, because you are desperate trying to find the prophet in our book, because you cannot find the prophet. Okay, just to give you an example, can you show me one prophecy in the Quran Muhammad he said come to be true? I think it's about uh, chapter 16, 78 about honey. This is prophecy now? Yeah. What what this prophecy? Because at, no, what? because at that time there is no one knows that honey can heal. Ah, well, this is mentioned in the Bible. There's many verses in the Bible that speak about honey can heal. And not only in the Bible, my friend. Even there's other religion, Hindus, they have this. Uh, uh, Chinese, they have this. Everybody knows in the world. It's not a, it's not a genius, I mean, to know. Even, and, and the Bible mentioned, which is written long before Muhammad, that honey is a, is a medicine. This is a prophecy. You are, this is funny. However, as long as you mention this chapter, my friend, this chapter I find it very funny and very crazy. Because in the same chapter, it says that the bees, they eat from the, uh, eat from the thru, fruit and they shit honey. The bees eat fruit. Yeah, this is what the verse is saying. You see, you are the one who... Yeah, but the, uh, the bees eat fruit, so... Huh? No, no, the, the bees don't the eat bees fruit. Eat... No, no, they don't eat fruit. No, they don't. The bees, they go and they collect the juice, the nectar, and they go back to the hive, and then there is worker uh, 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 bees who they take it from the uh, from the other uh, collector, and then they, uh, they like... Uh, uh, they dry it, or let us say they they try they change the uh, the process it, and that nectar became honey. And the Quran says uh, that this honey, which is the uh, the, the, the bees pr pr produce, is the is the poopoo of the. It's come from their belly, so they eat fruit. Yeah, it's come from their belly. Yeah, so they eat a fruit. What they eat? They eat a fruit, right? And then. Honey comes from their belly, which means this is their shit. <laughs> what kind of God do you think that those bees they eat honey and they shit, uh, they eat, they eat fruit and they shit honey? Excuse my language for using that word shit, but this is what it says. How this is, can be a prophecy? This is stupid. Then the Quran says Allah He inspired the the uh, the bees, saying, "Choose the habitation in the hills and the trees." In which they, uh, uh, th like they do that, and then eat of all the fruits, and follow the way, and from their from their stomach, out of, of their bodies come a drink, drives of horse, etc. With, with many colors. So the Muhammad is saying that honey is made this way. Those bees, they are stupid animals. Allah created them for us uh, to 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 make honey. How they do it? They eat a the fruit. They shit honey. I opened Google and Google said that uh, it's true that uh, bees eat fruit and then he uh, and then the, the honey come from their belly. So the Quran is no, that's not yeah. true. What, what what Google? This is a Quran. What Google? There's nobody believe uh, or everybody knows that honey is not the shit of the of they don't it doesn't come. It's not the shit, but okay. Honey so, comes from. But it says belly. no. It says it clearly in the front of you that they eat fruits. Bees don't eat fruits. They don't. They collect nectar, my friend, and they don't eat there. They don't eat out. Their food is in the hive. In the Quran, it says they eat and they come back, and then in the in the in the in the hives they do their poo poo. So where they eat, they eat the fruit. Where is the fruit located? Is it the tree? And then they come back, and from their belly come a drink, which is called honey. This is not a prophecy. This is stupidity. And if you go, if you go a verse before it here, verse number sixty-seven. As long as you mention this, you will notice here Muhammad praising whiskey. Do you like? Do you like whiskey? Yeah. Do you like? Do you like black label? But but now whiskey is haram. No no. How Allah He prays whiskey here, and now it's haram. Explain to me why here it says it's, it's also, He is saying it's, it's also like in the. Before it pork is haram, now it's pork, pork is uh, no, my friend. Uh, it's no, okay. This no problem. Why it's haram now? Why Allah praising the the the, uh, the the drink, the alcohol now, and later he make it haram? Doesn't make sense. Either it is bad and always bad, or it's not bad. 
Why he's saying it's a sign from Allah and to make good money from it and to make good of it, how it can be good and later became from the devil. So either it's from Allah or from the devil. Here it's from Allah and the other verse is from the devil. Which one? He's not only saying to you drinking it is good. He's saying making money from it is good. So what happened? How this is was uh, uh, now was good, great to do, practice, and later became bad. Muhammad, he got sick. The woman, she gave him poison. He cannot drink anything. He keep throwing and vomiting, and he cannot drink, and the Muslims are drinking. So he decided to make it forbidden. Because now he's not drinking no more. He cannot drink. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's go back to the Bible. What do you want to talk about the Bible? Uh, you want to talk about the Bible? Uh, you want to talk about the Bible of Allah? No, no, I want to talk about the Book of Number before. Hmm. Why, uh, why your God hmm. uh, told people to kill each other? I, I, I told you, and you know, your God He told people to kill children. Well, it's also mentioned in the Bible to kill children in okay. the Book of Numbers. And you're, you're, and you, so you see, you are, you are not listening. I, I answer you this about this from the beginning. There's a there's a person who was praying to God, saying God smashed their heads, right? And then the verse after it says the same as they did to us, the same as they did to us. What does that mean? That's mean this is what they did to their babies. So you are not listening, and you will not listen, and we will repeat the same question with the same answer, because you are not listening. Okay, okay, last question, last question, I mean. Hmm. What is the last question? Uh, 1 John 5 verse 7. 1 John? 1 John 5 verse 7. Hmm. What about it? Uh, uh, many times I also watch uh, Zakir and Ike video about this verse. And, uh, this verse, uh, he said that this verse is, uh, is, is it's gone because in Revised Standard Version of Bible, there is no first, first John 5 verse 7. Well, if, if it's not there, that means the translation is bad. I can show you many Islamic translations for the Quran and many verses disappear. And? For example? Any. Uh, you know, there is many. You go right now, you will see in the news about many the, the distributed Quran, whereas many verses are taken off or added. You can go search right now in Google. So any translation doesn't fit with the original. We don't accept it. It's translation. So you said, uh, so you said the revised standard version is wrong. My friend, any no, anyone he gave a translation doesn't is not accurate. We refuse it. As simple as that. And this is why this international version we don't I don't accept it because there's a lot of garbage there. It's a translation. So you said, uh, so you said uh, the one who like uh, Jehovah, the Jehovah Witnesses, he uh, he said uh, in the beginning was word and the word was God and the word was a God. So so you you also reject the uh, the verse. What do you mean reject the verse? What does that mean? Like uh, uh like First John, uh, John chapter one. Uh, who said who said who said who said I reject any verse in the in the Bible? I never said that. You 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 heard me saying I reject a verse in the you, Bible. You make a video when you go around and then you saw you saw uh, Jehovah Witnesses and then you yeah, but those, with him. Uh, you see, about you see. Okay, here you see that we are Christian. We are very serious about our Bible. Just because they changed, they added a before God. That is a big deal for us. A just add a a. In the translation so they make it instead of uh, he uh, is god became a god which means they believe in many gods so we believe in one god so uh, if this is jehovah witnesses they are not christians they have false translation of the bible the same as muhammad he's a fraud so jehovah witnesses is made by a fraud and we expose the fraud so if you bring me right now a translation of the bible adding words or taking words off you're a fraud as simple as that Okay, so uh, convince me that the, that the Christian is uh, the truth. Why I want to convince you? I do, I do not need to convince you. You know, stay stay as a Muslim. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, why you want to be a Christian anyway? 
the, uh, you, you have a prophet he will give you the, my life. hold on my friend no, my friend I don't want you to be a Christian I want you to be a Muslim I want you to be a Muslim so does God Allah he will give you women with big boobs don't you like big boobs Yeah, I already uh, uh, read about the hadith. No, not hadith. This uh, is Quran. This is Quran. This, this, this is not hadith. The Quran yeah, says. Also okay. Um, so, also, so uh, uh, you, you, you see, you are calling me, says Islam and Islam and Islam. And Islam is a so stupid religion. So, if you are taking your idea about Christianity from a guy like Muhammad who will promise you big boobs, obviously, you know, you are crazy. Because in order to listen to somebody, you have to prove that he is not mentally ill. A person who promised me big boobs, he cannot be healthy. He cannot be have a brain. He's obviously sick. So if you you are trying to understand the Christianity from Zakarnaik, trying to understand Christianity from the Quran, trying to attack Christianity based in Islam, and Islam, and the founder of Islam himself is mentally ill. So for me, in order to start to tell you about Christianity, you have to help me. How you help me? Agree with me that Muhammad is mentally ill, and then we go there. Then we go and say, okay, let's teach about Christianity and see what Christianity teach. But before that, I'm wasting my time. So do you believe, do you agree with me that Muhammad is mentally ill? The guy who take a dead shower, shower with dead dogs and warm blood from period? Don't you think if you go in the street right now and you see a guy sitting in the, mud, in the middle of the mud, little tiny hole in the ground, and there's dead dogs, warm blood from period, and garbage in the water and he's taking a shower don't you think he is obviously mentally ill be honest with me yeah maybe at that time no or i cannot what do you mean no people at that time they were wondering what he's doing you see people who they are at time they were asking him what are you doing they were not saying okay yeah uh, you know when when you ask somebody are you Taking a shower in such a water, obviously, this is not what they do at that time. Otherwise, nobody would be so surprised. Right? If I ask you, are you doing this? Read with me. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. So, are you doing this? Why they are saying, are you doing this? Because simply, this is something stupid. Nobody do. Garbage, women, blood from period. So you are coming from a background where you have a prophet or you call him a prophet. He's mentally ill, obviously. He's not a stable. There is no way in the world that this man is, he have little brain even. His brain is focusing in stupidity, in sex, vagina, penis, and money. In the same time, he do things, obviously, proving that he is a fraud. The caller is a fake Muslim. Well, uh, there's somebody saying you are a fake Muslim. Are you a fake Muslim? No, 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 no. I'm Sunni Muslim. You are a Sunni Muslim. He's saying, uh, can you take Shahada? Yeah, la ilaha illallah wa Rasulullah. La ilaha, no, 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 say it slowly. What is it? I did not hear. La ilaha what? Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so now the, the one who is listening there, are you are you happy? They are saying you are a fake Muslim. Are you a fake Muslim? No, no, no. Let's talk about Christianity. Yeah. No, why you want to talk about uh, Christianity? About no, either you say, you because, say uh, no. Don't waste my time. Uh, until don't waste until now, cannot uh, until now cannot uh, understand uh, your. You said uh, my friend, my friend. You see, my topic is Islam. I'm not going to waste my time with you unless first you agree that Muhammad is mentally ill and he is a fraud, and you leave Islam, and then I will be happy to explain to you Christianity. Before that, I'm wasting my time. Before I install a new software in a computer, I have to get rid of the virus. Otherwise, installing a new software and the virus is still there, there's no point. It's hard to say, bro. Uh, the punishment for leaving Islam is to die. So the punishment for leaving Islam is a die. Okay, stay as a Muslim, you'll get big boobs. And Allah, Allah will make your penis long. What do you want more? Actually, maybe if, my have, hurt, maybe, I have... maybe if you have a, like, you, Allah will give you that long penis, you know, like now in the case of Corona, you do not need to go shopping. Your penis can go by itself. Go to the supermarket, can bring you the milk. You can suck it, you know. 
You can get the milk, you can get the, the rice, you can get all the food you want without going shopping. I mean, you have a great prophet. I mean, if Muhammad is not a great prophet, how in the world he promise you women each time you sleep with them, Allah will fix their vagina and he will make them virgin again. Obviously, he's a great prophet. No, stay as a Muslim, my friend. Stay as a Muslim and they know I'm happy for you. And just go on like in a dream. You just open your mouth and close your eyes and dream about the, you know, those women with big ass coming to you. One mile as each one of them. Amazing, beautiful. No problem, no problem. Thank you very much for calling. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Let me ask you about the Bible. Right. You answer him and then I can give you a second question. Let me ask you about the Bible. And then you got, and then let me ask you in the Bible. Do they want to talk about the religion? <laughs> 